Hello everyone, I am back with a Happy Mail video and this package was sent to me by my friend Kim. She is Life Health Wellness here on YouTube and I have not had a chance to open it yet. It has been sitting on my cabinet and um, I just have not had any time to open it and so I'm really excited to go ahead and um, open it here and share it with you what she sent to me. I do know that it is a handmade journal, but um, I will go ahead and open it up. Okay, so here is the journal. It's in some really pretty, um, oh gosh, I guess kind of foil paper. And I have a super cool, is this a note or... Okay, this is really cool. I thought this was a note that she included, but it's actually like an envelope fold out. This is really cool. I love this. This is so cool. I have never seen anything like this and this is such a great idea. I love this. Um, Kim, I may have to steal this idea. I love it. Okay, so that's really cool. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. This is really pretty butterfly washi. That could probably come off and I could probably use that. I do try to use as much as I can. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty and these are, you can see I'm wearing this light blue sweater and she knows that um, I like the uh, light blue colors and the colors of the ocean and things like that. So um, I love this. I just cannot stop looking at it. Look at that cute little butterfly. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And here's another little dangle. All right, let's see here. Oh my goodness, this is just so pretty. I love all the decoupage and the little bits and pieces. And then she used some um, lace edging here. And this paper is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I am just blown away. Okay, this, this is my note. Okay, so this is a personal note just to me, so I am not going to share that, but um, she is so sweet. She sent such a sweet note. And I love this flip out here and this. Um, she paints all of this stuff, so that is really pretty and colorful there. I like this, The Good Life. I love how she, um, use the cutout over all the paint on that page so that this is really pretty. I am just, um, really, I am speechless because this is just gorgeous. I love all these painted papers and she did all of these. I know she did. And here's some little inserts in this envelope, and I'm guessing she probably hand-stamped this envelope and aged it. Okay, what do we have here? We just have some dictionary pages. That is just really nice. Spring showers. Um, I love vintage and antique um, music sheets. So, and this is beautiful. I love, again, with the light blue color and it's glittery. And who doesn't love glitter? So that is just, that is just gorgeous. Oh, and I like this. And uh, what are these called? Um, it's like a snippet, a snippet roll. That is really pretty. I just love the colors that she used for that. Lots of space for me to journal or add photos. And this is really pretty. I'm guessing, she, is this, 
a paper or I'm not sure if she used a technique on this or if that is scrapbook paper. I don't know. She'll have to tell us that. Okay, and look at this. This is some original artwork by her that is really, really pretty. Oh, look, this has, I don't know if she glued some sequins and glitter, but that's pretty. I like how she did that. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, okay. All right, and more space for journaling and photos. Oh, this washi really goes great with the colors that she used on that page. And so many vibrant colors. I love it mixed in with the lighter blues. And I love paper like this. I love the vintage um, papers with the florals on it. She even used um, the blue tie there in the center to um, tie the signatures together. So there we go with that page. And some more really vibrant, vibrant colors there. And some blue in there and some butterflies. That is just, okay, we have some more of the pink with the, the glittery and the sequins. That's really pretty. We have, um, looks like she did some techniques on here. Oh, I like that. I don't know if she hand stamped or what she did there, but I like that kind of chevron. And this is really pretty. I love all those colors. And I'm thinking this just might be some scrapbook paper, but it's really pretty. It looks like, like watercolor scrap paper or something. And there's that blue glitter paper again. I love that. And, oh, she made a pocket there with some inserts. And some inspirational Bible quotes. That is nice. And it looks like a vintage postcard from Germany. That is cool. Oh, this is pretty. I love vintage um, envelopes and letter sets and things like that. That is really pretty. So, oh, I love this color too. I know I keep saying that, but it is so pretty. It looks like she, she sewed this handmade envelope and then did some color staining or something on that. And then we have some more little inserts in there. This is really pretty. My mom would love that. And that is really nice. And a tab there. So I love this handmade envelope. I used to love doing this stuff, but I just really haven't had the time lately. Okay, and I skip one? Okay, there we go. Okay, look at all of the blues here. I love the mixture of the different blues. And then what is this like? Um, there is a word, a term for this, but I can't think of what it is. It's not print blocking, but um, that might, I'm not sure. That's going to bother me now. But that is just so beautiful. And it looks like she decoupaged the, the cover on the front and the back. That is just gorgeous. I just love that. I cannot wait to start using this. It is the perfect size. If I want, I can carry it around with me. It is just so pretty. Kim, thank you so much. I really appreciate you sending this to me. Um, I've been super busy with family things, and this just really brightens my day, puts a smile on my face. I cannot wait to start using it. It is just 
so gorgeous. I don't know if I could do anything quite like this. I would sure like to try, but that is just so gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I hope it gave you some inspiration. I would like to also do a hidden giveaway. I did a hidden giveaway and um, another video and I did not get any response so I still have the items I will link that video below so you can see what is in the giveaway and really all you have to do is like the video and tell me which um, was your favorite part of this lovely journal that Kim created for me and um, that is really it that's all you have to do uh, once again I will put the video in the description and um, you can go take a peek at um, the items that were in the giveaway. I'll probably also throw a few extra things in there if they fit into um, the shipping envelope, but um, thank you so much for watching.